What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to show you how I make my photos extra crispy on Instagram. Now, first, I want to give a thanks to Ryan Photos One. And yes, we share the same first name for dropping it in the comment section and letting me know what type of video I needed to make. As I always tell you guys, just let me know and I will make the video. Now, I want to make this video short because this process is very short. OK, so if I seem like I'm going too fast and I skip over something or you don't understand, just let me know once again in the comment section below. Now, we're going to start with the crop tool. OK, now it is two ways that Instagram lets you upload. That is going to be a one by one, which is a square. But since they let us do four by fives and let's face it, we want to show more of the photo. A lot of people tend to do this. So however you decide the crop is up on you, but just make sure you follow the one by one or the four by five. I am gonna go right here because I don't wanna cut a hair off, okay? That's step one, very easy, very simple. You should know how to do that part. Now, this is where it comes down to. When you come to file and you go to export, some people like to save for web, but what I want you to realize is what we're doing is we are exporting this photo for a specific application, okay? Web is so broad. We are doing this for Instagram. So we go to export as. Now the thing to be noted about Instagram is they let you upload two megabytes before they do their own compression. Now, if you see right here, and let me just draw this out right quick on the screen. This section right here is what we need to pay attention to, okay? Now, as you can see, this is our megabytes right here. And it says our quality is out of six. We want our quality the highest it could be, which is a seven. Now, when I do that, it's gonna put it up to 23 megabytes. Now, my camera is over 45 megabit. Me my camera is over 45 megapixels, I'm sorry. So it's over 45 megapixels. So that's why this file size is so big, okay? But what we wanna do is, the way Instagram will lower that down to two megabytes is they will go ahead on and change the quality now see if we change the quality we get it to 1.5 we don't want to change quality to get two megabytes we want to keep our quality the best it can be so we're going to put that on seven we're going to put that on high and what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the image size now this photo is huge it can be on a poster a billboard somewhere that's how big this is okay now if you have like a 20 megabit 20 megapixel camera i'm so sorry i'm I'm 20 megapixel camera you won't have to resize that much right like i do now I, since i know the megapixels of my camera um i know usually around 1500 is a good place for me to start so i'm gonna go ahead on and choose that and look at that i'm at 1.9 now i want to be at 1.2 so i, I want to be at 2.0 Gosh, I want to be at two megabytes. Okay, I want to be at two megabytes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna go 15, 25, right? Still at 1.9. Now I'm gonna go 15, 50, right? Got me to two megabytes where I want to be. Now, if we post this photo on Instagram, they need to do no compression. It will be crispy. The quality will be the highest it can be. It will be crispy. The last thing I just want you to make sure that you do is make sure that convert to sRGB is checked. That is the color space of the interwebs. If that is not checked, your colors will be funky, like funky or however you say that word. It would just no wonky. I think, yeah, I'm looking for the word wonky. Yeah. So that your colors will be wonky. It will be all over the place. OK, so make sure you have SRB check and then you're just going to want to press export. And what that will do is open up a folder, let you name it, you know, choose wherever you want to save it to. And you are done. It is literally that simple. So I'm going to go ahead on it back out of that because I already have this photo saved, but you will be getting the full quality, every last bit of detail. Now, once again, if you guys have any questions or if you have any video ideas you want me to create, put it in the comment section below. And until the next time, guys, oh, make sure you like, subscribe and whatever else they also tell you to do, do that as well for me. Okay. Um, but until the next time I'm out guys. Peace.